I read it you and roaming across your mind. Now you're with me, Fatin. In this segment, English for Workplace Communication and also my special guest for today, Zach and also Nadia. Hello, Fatin. Hi, Hello again, Zach. Listeners. Welcome back to I read it you and yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And, and a happy Monday, listeners. Mm-hmm. How are you doing today, Fatin? Good. Good. Yeah, I, I'm feeling very good too. All right. How about Nadia? Yeah, yes, I'm feeling good too. All oh, right. So, so the three of us today will be in the studio. Okay. And let me share with you all today, listeners, on the fine tips of making presentation. Yeah. Yes. I have won the best presenter award mm-hmm. as well as the best presentation in the mid-90s. That was a long time ago. Best presenter, a presentation in uh, twice, yeah? And I presented uncountable number of presentations before. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, listen up, I'm going to share with you some of the fine tips in making presentation. Okay. And to all my students, you will be making your presentation soon. Mm-hmm. So listen up, buckle up. All right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah, What makes a good presentation? Is it the presenter himself? Is it the content? Or is it a combination of both? Are there any other factors? So listeners today, well, I will share with you how you would apply the four P's of making presentation and also how do you use appropriate techniques to structure the contents of a presentation and how do you present with impact. It's not effective presentation, it's how do you make your presentation very impactful. Okay, let's come up. Let's let's come to to, to, to the topic of today's presentation. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to ask Nadia this question, yeah? What makes a good presentation, Nadia? First is plan, second prepare, practice and lastly present. Hello. That is not what I I asked for. <laughs> so listen, listening skills is also very important, yeah? So what makes a good presentation? It's okay, it's a first time in the studio today. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah, the right. three <laughs> elements that we have to take into consideration uh, yeah. for a good presentation is first, of course, the presenter. Definitely the presenter himself. Mm-hmm. It's you. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to make the, the presentation, you. You are one of the most key elements, very important elements. Second? Nadia? Second is substance. The substance, substance here is the presentation contents. What are you going to talk about? The content yes. of your presentation and lastly lastly is the ambience yes is this is the ambience ambience yeah the pronunciation here listeners is not ambience it's ambience, ambience. i purposely asked her to say that mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> ambience which is the environment the training environment mm-hmm. now listeners all these three elements cannot be singled out as they are all very crucial uh, the presenter may be knowledgeable and and, and well versed in the subject but if his delivery styles put the audience to sleep, now nah, you will not be able to, to present with impact, yeah? And at the same time, if the while presenting, the aircon is not functioning, leaving the room hot and, and the audience sweaty, yeah? All fanning himself. So that's why I say that all these three key elements are very important when you want to make a good presentation. Yeah. Other than that, listeners, uh, you uh, you will also learn slip of the tongue, yeah, no fault of the mind. <laughs> you will also learn the four P's, alphabet P, mm-hmm. of making presentations. Now remember, once learned and applied, you will be able to present with impact. So what do you need to do? What do you need to do? So these are the four P's. No, Nadia. Yeah. yeah. What are the four P's in making presentation? What's the first one? First is planning. Yes. First, you need to plan. Second. Prepare. Second, prepare. Third is practice. Practice. And lastly is present. Yes, present. Now, look at the fourth P, listeners. This word can be pronounced two ways. One as a noun, that is present. A present, yeah? Fatin just came back from Korea. I wonder if she has any present for us, yeah? So it's present. The other one is present. Present here is a verb. It's a verb, yeah? So these are what we call homophones. Homophones are the same word pronounced similarly, but it gives different, uh, no, same spelling, but different pronunciation, mm-hmm. and it gives us different uh, different meaning as well. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to share with you uh, each of these four P's, yeah? Now, planning, that's a saying, 
If you fail to plan, then you are planning to fail. So just as in presentation, listeners, you need to to plan maybe weeks or maybe some months before the actual presentation itself. Yeah, mm -hmm. as this is the as this is key to making an effective presentation. So, what do you do at this stage, before, during, and after? So please stay tuned. We'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, let's uh, listen to this song. Hi Radio OU, I'm roaming across your mind. Now you are with me and Zach and Nadia in this studio, in this segment, English for Workplace Education, uh, Communication. And our topic for today is making okay, a, a presentation. presentation. Yes. Okay, Zach. Yeah, we've talked about the four P's again. What are the four P's again, Nadia? First is planning, planning prepare, prepare, practice, practice, and also practice and present. And present. So the, the first P, in fact, the first two P's, that is, planning and preparation mm -hmm. now listeners and potential and future presenters we need to think about what is it that you need to do before during and also after the presentation yeah because these are in the planning and, and the preparation stage now you need to have the answers to all these questions now what are the questions Nadia this is preparation time but even before weeks and even months before the actual presentation what are the question answers that you have why? Questions, questions. You need to have answers to the question why, what, what, where, where, when, when, who, who, and lastly how. And also how, how. You need to, to have all these answers. Why are you presenting? Okay, why am I giving this pre presentation? If you are in, the, in in sales, it's obvious, yeah. You want a call of, of, of action at the end of the of the presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next is what? What is the topic of your presentation? What is it that that you hope to achieve? Where? Where is the venue? Where is the presentation going to take place? Is it in a classroom? Is it in a hall? If it's in a hall, how big is the hall? Then you may, you may consider using a microphone or maybe a caller mic. When? When is very important. Now, how many times you tend to look at the wrong date? It's February, but you are looking at the January calendar. So that can happen. So make sure you get the date and the day and also the time right. Yeah. And how long is your presentation? Is it just one hour? Is it one full day? Right? And who is going to present? Now, who here, sometimes for corporate presentation, you may need to have another presentation or maybe three. Is it a duet or is it a trio? So you need to know who speaks first, who speaks second and who speaks third. Mm -hmm. And lastly, how do you present? Mm -hmm. Now, how do you present here? This is where your presentation skills and your stage management comes in. Yeah, so all you must have all the answers to these questions way ahead of time before you start the presentation. Okay, now, um, next one. Then you need to plan. What about the presentation tools? Yeah, the presentation tools, you also need to, to look at the tools. Any available presentation kit? Any presentation kit? What are the other supporting materials? Supporting materials that that, uh, that you need? Um, and you need to gather as much information as you can from the internet, uh, maybe from the books and also from the interviews. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you also need to also ask yourself, what is it that you hope to achieve from that presentation? What are the objective? What is the presentation topic? Who are your target audience? You also need to know that. And how much they already know about the subject. So a thorough homework about the audience is indeed very important because you do not want to be caught, caught in surprise. Yeah? What are the other needs and expectations? What visual aids can I use? And how can I make my presentation interesting? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now listeners, this is very important. When gathering information, a point to note is, based on the topic of the presentation, you must ask yourself, at the, at, uh, at the time given, what are the information that your audience must know? Compulsory information. What are the information that your audience should know? And what are the information that is only nice to know nice to know information 
Now, why is it good to, for you to off the tree, Nadia? Off the tree, which you think is important? In my opinion, I think is the the most important things that what is the audience must know. Yes, must know this. You must remember, yeah, listeners, giving a training session and giving a, a presentation is two different things. When you are training, then you have to give. You can give all the information from A to Z. It must be detailed. But remember, when you're making a presentation, you've only got let's say one hour, mm -hmm. so you must you must uh, filter your information. What is it that they must know? This is very important. And what are the information they should know? This too is also very important. But why do I have this nice to know information? Sometimes we may finish within forty five minutes. Mm -hmm. Although the presentation is one hour, mm -hmm. you may finish within forty five mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is when you use the nice to know nice information. To know information. Right. But do not present the nice to know information more mm -hmm. than the should know and must, know, must know information. Know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay? And I tell this is, this nice to know information can can be very, very handy at times. Yeah? Can be very very uh, handy at times. Okay. Uh, the next information it's your the please consider these areas when organizing your materials number one it's the content must be suitable so the content in terms of its suitability yeah its practicality third is the technicality and it must have a good structure and also good visuals mm -hmm. and the visuals must not be anything sexy mm -hmm. it must be very well related to the topic that you're presenting mm -hmm. okay and on your part as a presenter, listeners, your personal appearance, your personal preparation would be, number one, your self-belief. Yeah, this is number one. You need to have this positive talk. Yeah, although not many people likes to do public speaking or, or presentation, but don't worry, nobody died of public speaking before. Yes. Nobody died of making a presentation before, yeah? yeah. But this positive self-talk, for example, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make the audience just love me. Yeah, because what I'm, going to, what I'm going to present to you, it's so good. Yeah, okay, that's one. And a positive talk, like I can do it and I'm going to do it well. You also need to analyze your own appearance. That because the first thing that they look at is it's your face. What you wear, what you should wear less, what you should wear more, what you should put on more and what you should put on less. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. um, your hair, go for a haircut before, before the presentation. Enhance your body image, shave, yeah? Shave and go and buy a new shoe or a jacket. Mm -hmm. Ladies, shop till you drop, yeah? And uh, avoid avoid pitfalls. Mm -hmm. Avoid any pitfalls and also have a contingency plan or mm -hmm. a backup plan, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the components of a presentation, right? You These are the components. Number one, what are the three components of, of, the, um, of the presentation, Nadia? Slide 13, slide 13, yeah. This one, this one. What what are the components of a presentation? Yeah, stop there. Okay, first is the opening. Opening statements. Yeah, opening statements must be must be very well rehearsed. Yeah, very well rehearsed so that you can say it with we uh, uh, what effortlessly you can say smoothly, you can say it with confidence. Yeah? Okay, then the body. The body. And the uh, or the contents. Yeah. And last part is the closing statements. And the closing statement. So it's the uh, I repeat, is the opening statements, the the body or the contents of the presentation, and lastly, it's the the uh, closing statements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's look at the opening statements after, after this. this. Stay tuned. Okay. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned with me on iVid OEM. Let across your mind. Welcome back with me, Zach and Nadia here in I read the OUM room across your mind. Okay, oh. Zach, our topic today is about making a present presentation. Making a presentation now. Okay. Let, let's let's look at your opening statements. Mm -hmm. Opening statements, and now the opening lines of your presentation, listeners, yeah, can influence the way your your speech is received. Now, effective opening lines uh, can help create the right impression and capture the attention of the audience. So Nadia, 
how should you how should the opening statements be opening statements must be carefully first is to carefully it has to be carefully scripted yes second okay. is well rehearsed yeah okay L- let me just stop you there now for some of us who whose command of the language is good yeah you also need to write your script down because we do not want to uh, for you to f- forget your lines and the grammar must also be right and especially so for for those of you whose grammar or the command of the language proficiency is not so good then it is very very important for you to write down the 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 uh and all that so you 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 write it down then you you practice and you rehearse it over and over again hey you will appear like a pro you appear like a pro yeah okay uh you have to write it down practice saying it many times as possible until you got it right yeah it is good to be alone on your own uh before you even start the uh, the presentation and i normally practice deep breathing exercises just to control the butterflies in the stomach you know and and once you're there you just walk up and bam wham you you you, you talk right now you can lose the, op- the your audience listeners with with a, with a weak opening line yeah now here are some examples of uh, opening opening lines you can use Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my presentation on leading a healthy lifestyle if that is your topic. I am Zakia Zainal from Open University, Malaysia. My presentation will take 20 minutes and I welcome questions from the floor at the end of my presentation. Now in any opening you need to tell the audience your name. Three uh, three important things. Tell them your name the organization you are from your your representing uh, your representing your presentation topic how long they are going to sit there listening to you so how long your presentation will take and when do you welcome questions from the floor yeah so you need to actually mention this these three things so l- let me just repeat what um what the uh, areas are what the areas are yeah okay before that uh, let me just previous previous let me just recap what we need to do all right the opening statements nadia can you just repeat what is it that that we need to tell the audience before we present first is the greetings yeah greetings remember to get the right time of the day good morning don't say good afternoon yeah you don't say hello or hi that is very important informal you greet good morning or good afternoon or good evening then you mention followed by your name yeah your name if your name is too long you just say my name is karit chot yeah too long yeah your the organization organization you are you are representing next is the presentation topic your presentation topic the duration the duration and the question and answers and the duration and ah uh, it, it depends on your presentation certain presentation especially if it's a product uh presentation if it's a launch or it's a technical presentation uh you may want a q and a session at the end of the session mm-hmm. so there again you need to know who will sit at the panel mm-hmm. are you in the position to answer mm-hmm. all the questions from the audience mm-hmm. so you also need need, need to do that yeah mm-hmm. you also need, need need to do this mm-hmm. all right the attention getters attention getters yeah Uh, this is how you can the you can you can come up with of uh, of uh, the body and the contents you can how do you command attention how do you create interest you can these are some of the things that 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 you, that you can use yeah in your in your in your presentation content what what are the things uh, nadia examples uh, you can use examples yeah examples statistics uh, this is having statistics is one thing but you know how do you know how to present the statistics it can come with just statistics and figures it can come in a pie chart or it can come you can come in a in a bar chart you must also know how do you present so you must say is it an upward trend is it on the downward trend is it a static so the way you present figures statistics is also important you can use also stories you can also use stories but stories don't use other people's story <laughs> It has to be your own story. Don't create story. <laughs> yeah, that you can appear very uh, unnatural. Yes. Then there again, you you may lose your credibility mm-hmm. here. Yeah. Next one, you can also use quotations. You can use quotations. There's plenty of related quotations. You just surf the net. Google quotations on leadership. Yeah. Uh, quotation on management, self-management. Plenty. Mm-hmm. 
and this is very good because you can use quotations to summarize the points that you're presenting mm -hmm. or you can use this as an ending also mm -hmm. you can yeah use attractive visuals use attractive visuals and also um when you need to use powerpoint here listeners remember that your visuals must be related and not too catchy mm -hmm. not too colorful not so powerful and your visuals must not you know the animations mm -hmm. did, 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 come up they come up from bottom bottom up you can come from bottom down they can fly to yeah yeah you you leave the audience having migraine later on mm -hmm. yeah so be careful with your audience mm -hmm. and you can also use benefit statements mm -hmm. if you are making a sales presentation mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. if you use our product ladies and gentlemen you'll be rest assured of savings mm -hmm. and there again it will give you value for money mm -hmm. so benefit statements benefit here yeah statements. so mm -hmm. um some of the 10 attention getters you 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 can use here for example yeah you can use this if you're talking about uh, health you can start with a startling fact high blood pressure a silent killer wow that's an opening statement yeah mm -hmm. and you can ask a question you can start with a question for example how many of us here today is on a health diet i'll be the first to put up my hand <laughs> yeah or you can tell a joke or a quotation you are what you eat mm -hmm. Or you can share a story, referring it to the occasion. Mm -hmm. You can point it to the historic uh, event, or you can also compliment the the, the audience. You mm -hmm. can use a gimmick, mm -hmm. and um, the, these are the icebreakers that 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 you can do mm -hmm. uh, to set the mood and also to gain attention and also to um, to gain the interest. Yeah, All right. Okay. Okay. Be right back with me for uh, making a presentation. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hi, Radio I'm roaming across your my English for workplace communication, and you are with me, Fatin. And this in this studio, we we have uh, Zach and also Nadia. Yeah. Okay, Zach, let's continue our session for sure. today. Now, Fatin, I'm sure you've attended a lot of presentations before, yeah? Yeah. All right. Have you attended any any bad one before? <laughs> bad one? Yeah, bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, in my opinion, the bad one thing, the first uh, is about eye contact. The, the, the presentation, the presenter. Oh, yeah. Did you not yeah. uh, maintain eye contact yes, with the audience? Yes, eye contact yeah, with okay. the audience. And also the, the image of the presenter. Oh, the image of the presenter. Why they forgot to shave? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I've attended a presentation whereby the presenter himself is is handsome, tall, dark, and handsome, mm -hmm. but forgot to shave. Mm, yeah, okay. it's not macho at all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. What and else? What else? Uh, time management. Time management. Mm -hmm. Nadia, have you attended any bad presentation before? Yes. Um, one one thing that I noticed the presenter always. Did during the presentation is the verbal verbal habits. Verbal habits. Oh, verbal habits. Let, let's look at verbal habits. What what are some of the common verbal habits that most presenters tend to say? Yeah, uh, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> this this topic, you know, you know, you know. I don't know. <laughs> they don't know. So these are verbal habits. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, other verbal habits would be actually, actually, uh, actually, actually, actually. How about how about uh. Uh, the long pause. Uh, the long pause. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, nobody is going to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to force it to come out. Yeah. <laughs> so these are verbal habits. So uh, it sounds better if uh, basically, generally, you know, and, yes. and they actually, it sounds better if if you if you drop these lines, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So this comes in our preparation as well. Yes. Preparation. Image mm -hmm. is very important because sometimes. Um, if you look well, you present well, people will tend to remember not only your presentation but you. Mm. But you, yeah? Okay, here are some of the common mistakes, yeah? Common mistakes made by, made by some presenters. Number one, failure to speak to time. You've got only one hour. But when you talk, you notice that you've, you've covered one hour and you're only half, half your presentation, yeah? Failure to speak to time. Number two, Material not suitable to the audience. So this is also um, failing to plan. Yeah, information overload. Oh my God! Especially if it's a technical presentation, yep. make sure it's not to overload, or you may you may lose them. You may you may lose the audience. Material too too technical. 
don't avoid using jargons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, poor preparation. Yes, listeners, the audience can see whether you are well prepared or not. Yep. If you're frigid, you forgot your slides and all that, they can tell. Yeah, failure to practice your speech that can happen too. And distracting visuals, what, what I mentioned is not the, the animation, j -j 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 one sentence, yeah, coming up, bottoms up, or bottoms down. <laughs> the verbal habits. And also your vocal. Vocal, sometimes you may have jarring voice. If you have jarring voice <laughs> and you use the microphone, imagine the audience have to listen to you for one hour. Oh my God, I will walk out. <laughs> so if you have a jarring voice, you need to get feedback from, the, from your friend. How can you make your voice sound better? Mm. That's the way, yeah? Mm -hmm. And just now you mentioned about no eye contact. Mm -hmm. Now, so you must look you must maintain eye contact. Yes. The tip here is you, you must look at the, you know, the alphabet W? Yes, that is the alphabet that you need to look at. Look at the people at the back, then in the center, then right in front. Mm -hmm. But your head must not move in the W. That in the alphabet <laughs> w. No, you do it only with your eyeballs. Yeah, yeah? Okay. And also uh, inappropriate pace, mm -hmm. you know, like the pendulum. Mm -hmm. First you stand this side. Mm -hmm. After each after each two sentence you, you walk here, mm -hmm. then you walk here again, you walk mm -hmm. here, it's not a pendulum, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You may you may get the, the audience confused just by pacing around. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing here is also lack of enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your voice, yeah, it's 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 very crucial. So avoid making these mistakes and you present. You must present with impact. Mm -hmm. So how do you do this? The format, the content and, stru and the structure of your presentation make or can determine the ex the extent to which we are able to convince direct or lead and inform the audience of something that is sig significant uh, to a work situation all right now i have come to the end of my presentation and i now welcome questions from the floor how does this statement how does this closing statement sound Nadia? it sounds very Clear. Yeah, because it, uh, uh, in the opening you mentioned that you are that your presentation will take twenty minutes and you welcome questions from the floor. Now your presentations have come to the end, so you must actually honor what you said. So what is it you can say, ladies and gentlemen? I have come to the end of my presentation, and we or I now welcome questions from the floor. So sometimes you may summarize the uh, the you may summarize the main points. Or you can end it with a quotation. You can devise a dramatic uh, statement or call for an action if it's a sales presentation. Also, listeners and presenters, remember to watch your energy level. Yeah, It must be consistent with your energy and enthusiasm right at the opening. It must be the same. It must be the same. Now, I have some examples of, of, of closing statements here. If you're talking about self-motivation, yeah, this is this is an example of a closing statement. Now, yeah, let, let's have you read this quotation. We are what we eat. Oh. Life quotation. Oh, life quotation. Yeah. Our life today is the result of all the thoughts we choose to entertain until now. Yes, you're talking about a motivation level. Yeah. So our life today, listeners, is the result of all the thoughts we choose to entertain until now. So because you have entertained positive thoughts, and that's where you are what you are where you are here today another one will be stop existing and start living so that our dreams will not slip us by and let's say we're talking about a healthy lifestyle you're talking about a healthy lifestyle you may use some of these closing statements yes which is we are what we eat we are what we eat or what we get what we eat is what we get what we eat is what we get so therefore eat well and we live well eat well and we live well now that's a strong and powerful don't you think Fatih? yes all right so we have talked about the first two piece that is plan and prepare plan and mm -hmm. prepare so you got your contents ready knowing what to say at the opening the contents at the closing now the next p listeners is practice practice practice, practice, practice and practice, practice. now uh, with thorough preparation and practice, uh, listeners and presenters, you can reduce stage fright. Mm -hmm. So maybe on the eve of your presentation, look at yourself in a mirror, full-length mirror. 
So you may know when to push your stomach if it bulges out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if your stomach is like half fist, for example. Oh, you may know, sorry, half fist. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes your stomach may look, especially guys, your stomach. Uh, may look like you're three months pregnant so you know oh i don't look good so it's time for you to do something <laughs> okay now uh you need to practice your speech well mm-hmm. you need to practice your 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 speech very well yeah mm-hmm. and the uh, old saying practice makes perfect is still very true the, yes. the ancient ancient proverb yeah mm-hmm. okay practice your speech well rehearsed well even season, seasoned presenters like myself we also practice our speech before we go live yeah listeners the um, audience can see now believe me audience can see if the presenter is is well prepared and organized in the manner the presentation is delivered so learners what is it that we need to do we need to practice practice, practice, practice and practice. practice stay tuned yes. for more tips on making a presentation with me zack I already owe you I'm roaming across your mind. Welcome back in this segment, English for Workplace Communication with me and Zach yes. and Nadia. Yes. Now, listeners, can you remember what are the four P's again? Mm. Uh, yes, Fatin and Nadia. Plan. You, yes, plan. Yes, you plan. Prepare. You prepare. Practice. You practice. And present. Yes. Now, you're ready to move to the last P that is present. Mm-hmm. The important skill at this stage is the... Nadia, what is important at this stage when you need when you present? First is of course the interpersonal skills. Yes, your interpersonal skills is very important here. And lastly, your followed by social skills. And your social skills. Now, interpersonal skills here, it's the way you communicate, and also the way you carry yourself. And your uh, social skills. Now, listeners and presenters, there are things that you can do on stage. You can rub your nose. You can keep scratching your, your 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 what is this chin, yeah. And if this is loose, you you can you can possibly straighten it. So there are certain things you you cannot do when you're on stage. That is social skills, yeah. And you can't even do this at while while talking. <laughs> you can't clear your throat. Can you imagine that if you're having flu? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't mm-hmm. do that. So mm-hmm. that is social skills. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now you present. When you present, what do you use? What do you use when you present, Nadia? When you deliver, what do you use? You use voice. You use your voice. Remember your voice. If it's jarring, then do something about it. Your voice. You use body your, language. You use not your body, but your body, body language. language. If your body is too sexy, hide. <laughs> Please hide. Please hide. Yeah, camouflage it. Next, eye contact. You must maintain eye contact with, and also you must have friendly eyes. Hmm. Get to know the. Come early and get to know the audience earlier, mm-hmm. so you can look at them and tell them to smile at you, so the butterflies will go out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else do you use? Hand gestures. You use hand gestures, and also you can use the cue cards. You can use the, yes. What are cue cards? What are cue cards? Cue cards are just small, not the A4 size paper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just. A small index card, maybe mm-hmm. four by four. That's mm-hmm. even too big. Mm-hmm. If possible, don't have any cue cards. Mm-hmm. If yes. you're well prepared, you're confident. It's all up here. Mm-hmm. All you need to do is just come out from your mouth. Yeah, yeah speak with confidence. Mm-hmm. So cue cards, you can. It's, it's not wrong to use cue cards, but use that as prompters. Do not be overly dependent on your cue cards because mm-hmm. you will appear as though you are reading. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So these are the things that you need to that you need to um uh, used when you deliver or when you present, right? Now apply stage management techniques. What are stage management techniques? You have to pace the floor. Don't be a statue and stand at only one at one place. Move to the right, left. Once you have finished two or three topics, then you move on to the right. But you don't march. You walk gracefully, professionally, and sexily. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Involve the audience wherever possible. You use questions like a um. Uh, do you have any questions? Are you all with me so far? Right. Talk to your audience and not to your visual aids. If you use PowerPoint, you just turn around and look at the points and you move and you look forward and continue with your presentation. Mm-hmm. Do not be overly dependent on your slides Slide. as mm-hmm. well as your cue cards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you need to also speak clearly and concisely. 
Do not have anything in your mouth. That's why practice is very, very important. Yeah. Now, the other point to note here, listeners, here is as in anything, we have ethics. So even in presentation, we have ethics. Now, what is the difference between compliance and ethics, Nadia? What is compliance? Compliance is about doing the right thing. Yeah, compliance is about doing the right thing. What about ethics? Ethics is about doing it the right way. Who's using you <laughs> doing it the right way? Now, compliance is about doing the right thing. What is the right thing? This is your social skills, mm -hmm. things that you must not do, and things that you have to do. Coming on time is ethics the right way. If your talk, if your presentation is one hour, make sure you talk within one hour. Mm -hmm. That is ethics. Yeah, and giving information, make sure you give the right information. That is yes. ethics. Right and accurate uh, information. information. Right. You need to observe this. And lastly, and lastly, listeners and presenters, presentation is, is an is art. art. Presentation is an art. You need to observe a lot of things. It gives you the flexibility to present your own way. So the next time you present, listeners, make sure you enjoy yourself. You feel happy when you present. So happy presenting, learners, to uh, listeners. Till the next week. Next week. Bye-bye for now. Cheers. Bye. Bye. See you next week.